Drawing Out the Facts, the Naked Science Scrapbook. Hello and welcome to the Naked Science Scrapbook from the Naked Scientists. This time we're answering the question, what is the Higgs boson? And why is everyone so excited about the possibility that we've found evidence for it? First of all, we need to think about something known as the standard model of particle physics. This is a mathematical model that allows us to make sense of how the universe works, and it describes the interactions between all of the different fundamental particles that we know about. There are matter particles, the quarks and leptons, that make up the matter we can see and feel, and force-carrying particles, the bosons, which mediate the interactions between the matter particles. Fundamental particles make up all of the matter that we know of, so if we look at something like a proton, which is a positively charged particle that you find in the nucleus of an atom, we can see that it's made up of three quarks held together by gluons, which are one of the types of the force-carrying bosons. And neutrons, another type of particle found in the nuclei of atoms, are made up of a slightly different combination of quarks held together by gluons. But there is a problem with this standard model. It requires that the fundamental particles themselves have no mass. But the way that they behave and interact suggests that they do. Otherwise, they'd just whiz about in space on their own and not clump together to form matter. So the question is, where does this apparent mass come from? This is where something known as the Higgs field comes in. This invisible field fills all of space, and when particles interact with the field, it makes them appear to have mass. Those that don't interact with the field at all, but just shoot straight through it, appear to have no mass at all, like photons. And particles that interact a lot with the field will be slowed down and appear to have more mass, like the heavy Z boson. But if the Higgs field is invisible, how can we study it? Enter the Higgs particle, which is another type of boson. Although we call it a particle, the Higgs boson isn't just a blob of stuff in space. It's actually a vibration of the Higgs field that we can detect. And in fact, we can think of all the fundamental particles this way, so a photon of light can be thought of as a vibration of the electromagnetic field. It works a bit like this. Imagine clapping your hands. This action disturbs the air around your hands, producing vibrations that we can detect as sound waves. In the same way, the protons smashing together inside the Large Hadron Collider at CERN are like your hands clapping. They disturb the Higgs field enough that we can detect a Higgs boson. And that's one of the main reasons the LHC was built. If we can find the particle, then we can study that to understand the field better. But it's not been an easy task. In the LHC, bunches of protons are colliding every 50 nanoseconds, and out of the billions of protons involved, only around 20 interactions will happen with each collision. And even then, the chances of producing a new fundamental particle in the LHC are much lower than the chances of producing something we already know about. In fact, only about one in every six billion of these interactions would produce a Higgs boson. And what makes it even more complicated is that the Higgs boson is very short-lived and decays almost instantly to other fundamental particles. In other words, we have a particle that is rarely produced and when it is, decays so quickly we can't even look for it directly. So, to get around this, the LHC instead looks for the decay products and by measuring their energy and momentum, researchers can calculate the mass of the particle they must have come from. They can then plot a graph of the number of times decay products from particles of different masses were produced. The results announced in 2012 by CERN showed a statistically significant increase in events around a particular mass of between 125 and 126 giga electron volts. That's about equivalent to 2.3 times 10 to the minus 25 kilograms. This points towards the presence of a new type of fundamental particle with this mass. But whether it's actually the Higgs boson or not remains to be seen. To confirm it, the researchers need to collect much more data. Does it decay to all of the different combinations of decay products that we would expect given its mass? And does it interact with other fundamental particles in the way the standard model predicts that it will? So, questions still remain. But the discovery has narrowed the uncertainty in our understanding of physics and has taken us a step closer to understanding the Higgs field and the structure of the universe a little bit better. 
That's it for this time. To get the answers to more science questions, join us online at thenakedscientist.com forward slash scrapbook. Bye.